Good morning everyone, it's Tutorial Tuesday and this week I want to show you guys how to use the Adobe Capture app and then save your file as an SVG. So first what we're going to do is, I'm going to let you know I'm doing this on an iPad, so if doing it on an iPhone or an Android device it might look slightly differently where the buttons are placed. So we're going to go to the upper right hand corner, this little one that has kind of like a mountain look to it. We're going to click that and that's going to give us um, where we want to pull it from. I'm going to pull from my camera roll and I'm just going to pull up this image. Now I've already converted this image so I know it works well. Keep in mind that not all images are going to convert well or going to work. Now I find that usually when you put this in it is usually a pretty good indication of what it's going to look like. You can use um, on the left side toolbar here there's this little magic wand thing in the middle and that will uh, automatically kind of clean it up. Um, you can uh, and you can take that right off if you don't like the way it looks. This little bar on the side here helps you make it lighter or darker depending on the look you're going for. Um, so once you figure that all out, you're going to click this check mark, which is over here on the right, and it's going to go to the next side. So now you can do um, the crop or the smooth. You can see right up here at the top. Down at the bottom we have the erase tool. So I can go over here and erase some of these pieces that I know are just a little in the way, not really necessary stuff that I can erase. And you can use this little slider toolbar at the bottom here to make that bigger, to clean up a bigger area or make it smaller for a smaller area. And, um, and then you can crop this even. So if you wanna crop some stuff out a little bit, that's fine. You can use the smooth option. Um, and what's really nice about this is you can turn it on and see how it looks. And if you don't like the way it looks, you can just switch it back to off and you're good. So it's up to you how you like the look of everything. So I'm gonna let that load. And you can see it's not a huge difference, but it does make a difference sometimes. So once you're done with that, we're gonna go and save it. Now this is going to save it to your app. So you will further have to go back and choose what you want to do with it. So you're going to either export it or save it to your camera roll. Now, if you only use your phone, you can save it as an SVG to your phone. Now I know how to do it on iPhone or iPad, Apple device, so I'm going to show you how to do that today. Now with the, if you have it on Android, um, it's a similar process. It's just saving it to your files, which, um, is in a little bit of a different place. Uh, but if you're an, ex um, an experienced Android user, it should be pretty self-explanatory. So now what we're going to do is go down to the bottom right here, this little X, and we're going to click that. And it's going to bring us to our, um, our library here. So I'm going to go up to shape 33 in the top left, and I'm gonna click the three dots here. Now I can export as SVG. Now, you can email it to yourself, open it up on the computer, and that will be an SVG for you. But if you try and open it on your phone, it won't. So what you'll do is save it to files. Shape 33, I'm gonna save it on my iPad. I'm going to save it to iZip, which you will need in order to do this, and I'm going to click Add. Now I'm gonna get out of here, and I'm going to open up the Cricut Design Space app. I'm going to select New Project and I'm going to go down to the upload button at the bottom here, and I'm going to browse files. Now I'm going to do on my iPad, I zip, and it's shape 33, and it's going to pull it right up as a SVG. There's gonna be no need to clean it up. Now, say that you wanted to clean it up further than what you had in the Adobe Capture app, then you can, um, you can go ahead and save it to your camera roll. Here we go. You can go ahead and save it to your camera roll and it will save it as a picture so that when you upload it, you will have to further clean it up using the magic wand or whatever. But that will give you a little bit more control of how your image looks. So you can just name it, save it, my internet's a little slow today, so excuse the time it's taking, but it's just going to save it, and then this will save it in your images, like for any other uh, SVG that you upload. But this is a great way to save it as an SVG right from your 
device and that way you don't need to do additional cleaning it up um, but that still is an option for you if you want to save it to your camera roll which is really nice and gives you a little bit more control over things and do this insert and then it's ready for you to go which is awesome to do it all in one place